Hello and welcome to One More Pen. Today I'm doing a short video, but um, I I do like having a look sometimes at really cheap pens and just seeing what they're worth in terms of writing experience. And I have this traveling friend Daryl, and he's recently spent some time in Mauritius, and he brought back this uh, this real cheapy over here. I don't know the price, I think, but it was, it's one dollar or less. It's, it's not an expensive pen at all. And let me see. Uh, it just says, it just says neon over there. And it's a really cheap plastic pen. Nothing really fancy to it. I've, um, I have a few of these kinds of pens and I, and I like to just pick them up wherever um, you know, if, if I'm traveling a bit or if he's traveling, he'll bring one back for me. So this one uh, he brought back from Mauritius. It's not made in Mauritius, however. It says, uh, it says, by Universal Italy. Uh, so this is made in Italy, but it doesn't matter. It, you know, this is, it's a pen from Mauritius. So I'll do, I uh, will just take a quick closer look at it. I'll do a writing sample and see, you know, is this worth it? Can, can you write with this? Do I think you will get some, uh, you know, some writing out of it? Will you be able to use this on a daily basis? Is it just an emergency pen or could, you know, could you, it, it looks like it could be a good, you know, pen for um, use at school or something like that. But we'll see, you know, is it, uh, is it worth it? Uh, well, I think for one dollar it's definitely worth it. Uh, you can't, you know, if it lasts just one month, Anyway, uh, I think it'll be worth it, but we'll take a closer look at it and uh, we'll, uh, you know, you can let me know what you think. If you like this kind of thing, just like and subscribe my videos. Why not? You can always unsubscribe later, right? So, okay, let's uh, take a closer look. All right, let's take a closer look at this really cheap plastic pen that I only know as the Neon. Um, I opened it a while ago, so unfortunately I don't have the blister pack that it came in, but um, there's really nothing more on there. So all we have is it says neon on the cap, and if we have a look over here, um, I don't really know what that makes out, but it's by Universal Italy. It feels really plastic. It it is very cheap. Um, it was less than a dollar, um, as far as I know. Um, so the the clip is, uh, you know. I would say barely functional. I wouldn't mess around with it too much. I don't think it'll last. But if you if you're really careful with it, I think it it will probably keep the pen in your pocket. But you know, don't have high expectations. I would say um, I, it, this pen looks like it is probably for a younger market. Uh, maybe a first fountain pen or. Uh, pen to use in school or something like that. We can just have a, a closer look at the top of the cap over there. The um, the clip is sort of inlaid into the cap, which I think you know for such a cheap pen, it's a nice touch. The um, clip is a sort of a multi transparent color, so you can see the nib and the section through it but it's not completely transparent you can easily make the mistake like I usually do the way that I uncap a lot of my pens is pushing on the clip and when you do that um, on this pen you're going to be breaking the clip anyway it uncaps snap cap and you know it goes on there pretty well we have the uh, same kind of barrel sort of a semi-transparent semi-white transparent it's got a bit of texture on it it's got a little barely noticeable but but little studs on there which i assume would be for extra grip i don't like it at all i don't like anything on my section i like it to be just just smooth or if it's textured textured but but smooth but i don't want too much over there because i find that irritating but anyway it is what it is we have a nib that i don't know if it says anything on there let me try and have a closer look no I, I can't see whether there's nothing in terms of the size of the nib it just says universal 
And that's the bottom over there. Barrel on screws and um, plastic on plastic thread. Ouch! Not good on the ears, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Came with a cartridge that, if I have a look at it like that, it's sort of, sort of halfway full of ink. It's not, not a very full cartridge, but um, okay, I, I don't know. It's a probably standard universal uh, size and it's just blue and um, we get them with many different pens and they're pretty much all the same. I'm not going to be using this blue ink because I find it to be very boring so I'm going to take um, a cartridge that I emptied and we're going to fill this up with something different. An ink that I uh, want to fill this with is Diamine Sepia. Um, I got this ink and I used it once on um, one of my other pens and I had a horrible experience with it. I actually think it was the pen but it put me off the ink as well so I think I want to give this ink another chance. So to fold this um, I have a, I'm gonna have to do this off camera, I just have a mm, needle and syringe here. Uh, so we're just going to, oh that's messy. Apologies for that. Get some ink in there, that is enough. And I can put that to the side. Get rid of that. There we go. Everything is just rolling around my desk today. But anyway, there we go. And mm, this is, it's not, it doesn't fit well. Well, it doesn't look like this is going to be working. So I think, let me just put that aside. Now I might already have some ink in there, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's a cheap pen and it's a writing sample. So let me just use this cartridge that came with it. Um, I don't think there will be too much of the other ink on there and immediately it injects the ink into the section. And um, I might have to give it a minute for it just to flow through and just squeeze it a little bit. I don't, I don't want to break the cartridge, but you can see when you squeeze a little bit, you can see the ink going through. So I actually think this should be ready to write with. Shall we give it a try? Well, so much for the Diamine CPI ink. I'll use this on another pen next time. It's not a big deal. We'll be using the Rhodia dot pad as usual. And what is this pen? I don't even know what to We'll just call it the Neon. It's a pen from Mauritius. So let's just call it the Neon from Mauritius, if that's okay. So let's see. No, we don't have, we don't have ink flow yet. Let me just see maybe now. Let's see if we have something. No, we don't. Why is it not writing? Let me get, I don't have ink all the way through the nub yet. I do have some ink there, but it might be, it might just be a problem with a, with a pen. Might be that it's not working. And I wonder. We definitely have ink over there but we don't have, uh, the ink does not make it all the way through to the point of the nib. There's quite a, quite a gap between the tines. I don't know how much we can see here, but I don't think that's, that's too much. I think that should be fine actually. And I can't really see any closer So let's see, I don't know if we'll be able to, let me see if I can, I'm going to try and bring this a little bit closer and then see if we can get focus on there, whether we can see what's going on there.
because I have a feeling I can see what's going on with that nib and I I can guess why it's not working but I'm not a hundred percent sure gotta put my glasses back on and there we go actually well it just needed another minute so let's see this is the neon from Mauritius um, no, I just needed to give it a minute there and the one is the size of this nib I would say that it is I don't know somewhere between a fine and a medium no idea what it really is the ink in here would be I'll just call it generic blue ink it's quite a, ne a wet nib actually as you can see quite a wet nib surprisingly smooth um, when when I edit this, um, we'll, I'll zoom in and um, we'll have, be able to take a closer look at the point of that nib. But it's, you know, it's a very strange nib, I think. Anyway, um, I don't think I want to try and see if you can get any line variation. No, definitely not. But it seems to be keeping up. I'm very surprised this is actually pretty good this is not bad at all uh, let's see if we can do a tiny bit of writing with it um, uh, let's see um, Well, for a very cheap pen that's probably less than a dollar, this is not bad at all. I just needed to give it a second for the ink to make it all the way through to the to the nib, to the um, point on the nib there. But once it did, I am surprised. It's it actually writes pretty well. The nib has a tiny bit of um, sort of. Uh, I wouldn't say flex, but it, it, it's definitely, a, it's not a hard nib. It has a, you know, if I press on the paper, it definitely has a bit of give, which makes for a very soft uh, writing experience. It's actually quite pleasant. Um, I actually like my nibs to be quite hard, uh, so I really enjoy the very typical steel nib, but, but this is still very pleasant. Um, so this is quite a surprise. I think with a pen like this, Definitely good enough for note taking and even I think if you had to do a decent amount of writing with it as long as you look after it and remember that this is The plastic is not going to last forever, but if you take care of it I think this is a nice pleasant pen to use Well, there you go. If you've seen these before you have something like this. Let me know in the comments um, I'll appreciate it if you like and subscribe and this is another cheap pen that's uh, providing much more than a cheap writing experience. Thanks Daryl for this one. All right everyone, I will see you next time. Keep well.